Okay. So this is the, uh, let's see here. DOD Icebox Stereo Chorus, borrowed from a very good friend of mine. And uh, I haven't tried one of these choruses out since back when they came out in the 90s. So I'm very curious about this pedal. I didn't even touch any of the knobs and I already liked that. I have no idea. It's pretty cool. A little sip of coffee. Let's see. So it looks like it's as extreme as it gets. Let's speed up, speed it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. So it goes into the unusable area. I don't like that. But. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, my clean sound is sterile and terrible. Ugh. And this livens it up really nicely. Yeah, I, li I like it, you know? Um, I really like my uh, core sound to be glassy. And this has this high EQ, which adds to that. I don't know if it's uh, digital, I, I assume it's analog. And my shit sounds so out of tune. Maybe it's the depth. Um, let's see if I gotta tune this thing. Yeah, tune the guitar. You know, I am strumming close to the bridge. That's why it, I always kind of do that if I strum more towards the neck. It's a little thing that I started doing recently on cleans a lot. It's if you strum. Really brings out a lot of that high end.
yeah, it's a cool little box. Um, to tell you the truth, this won't replace my um, my Ibanez CS9, but if I had one, I would use it. You know what I mean? It's good. Um, and you know, little fact is that on the recording of Blood Sugar Sex Magic, John Frusciante used a DOD stereo chorus. It wasn't the Icebox version. It was like a previous version. But uh, according to some people's accounts, he used a DOD chorus, which most people would assume that it wasn't high enough quality for a big recording, but he did it. So that's the FX64 Icebox Stereo Chorus.